Welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. So what we have here is a computer board or memory or RAM, whatever you want to call it. And it has one of these little SOIC chips. Uh, where is it? Right here. These little things right here. And I'll see if I can zoom in so we can get a real good look. Focus, there we go. That looks much better. Uh, so these little things right here are what's used in some car immobilizer systems, dash, radios. They're a little bit of memory there that we need to actually manipulate as locksmiths. And this is how locksmithing has kind of changed. Not only are we playing with pins and springs, now we're playing with little microchips like this. Not these ones so much, but more like this. So I got a little um, thing from China and they look like this. Now I've never tested these and I thought I'd just test them now. What these are is little probes so where we should actually be able to hook onto that um, little SOIC chip. I'll just let it focus here. Sorry, I'm actually going through a magnifying glass so we can get a real good look. So let's zoom out and have a look at these now. Okay, that's probably the best way we'll look through the magnifying glass because they are quite small, they are quite tiny. What I liked was they were quite cheap. Now these little, oh, look at that, that's small. These little um, tools, you simply plug in the back of it and then you can plug into your programmer and then do a read or do a write. So I guess these would be of some benefit when a lot of these little chips have a little bit of lacquer on them or you can't get a good read using your standard SOIC over the top clip. Um, so they're interesting as a little bit of a backup. You will need to know the configuration of the wires and you will need to set up the wires, but generally you can look at a, a current plug and work it out without too much trouble. A little bit of heat shrink, a little bit of solder and you should be good to go. For some of these chips here, you can actually get them to work, I think, on four wires. So, you know, you don't have to hook up all the legs. But what I thought we'd do here today as a test, because, you know, it's good to sort of test things, is I wanted to see if I could hook these onto the SOIC, which is a, quite a small chip, and actually see if they connect and if it was, you know, a viable option to use these little things. Because I have seen them in different shapes, different formats. Normally, we would just go straight over the top with an eight-legged prong um, either hold on or clamp on type of peg looking device. So these are something new. So I'm going to zoom in as much as I can. If we can, for, uh, there, that looks good. That looks good. Okay, and I'm going to try and center it. And my hands are going to be huge now, but if you can see, you see that? Here, yeah, let's see if we can zoom in, zoom out. Zooming and focusing, a little bit of a problem. Okay, so we, we know we got that. So let's go ahead and open it up. You're gonna have to bear with me while I, I clamp it on. And basically when I look at it, when I look at this little part here, it's got uh, two little bits of wire that come out and go around. So I'm gonna clip this on and then I'm gonna do a real close up and I'm gonna see what you guys think. And already I've done the first one there and I'm reasonably impressed with that. Now I'm gonna do the next one, hard up against it, and we're gonna see if they're actually touching each other, if they've got a good grip, if they're working, and so far so good. Oh, sorry, you're off camera, sorry about that. Bear with me, bear with me. All right, there we go. All right, so let's bring that into view now, okay. There we go. So the initial problem I can see is that perhaps these metal shafts here might actually be touching in some way. Uh, when I put them together here and here, are we touching? No, not really. But I could see if they were too close together, they could possibly touch. And if I introduce that fourth one on this side here, we'll see what happens. Now these little clamps, the little piece of wire is so fine, it's hard to see. So now we've got four happening on one side. So I think the price of these came in at about $20 or $30, and they do take a little bit more time to actually put on the chip, but they're not bad as a backup. If you can't get a good read and you've got all sorts of problems, these might be a good backup compared to the peg that we normally use, and they are actually clipping on there in a reasonable fashion. I worry about them actually touching each other. Like if you're touching, this post is touching this post, but they seem to be able to be, you know, doing the job in their in a reasonable fashion. So I, I, I give them a tick at this stage. I'll actually have to come up with a dart. And if you look as well, no, sorry, let it focus. These clamps are like this, you know, they've got two little bits of wire that come out and clamp kind of behind the chip. And if you look at how we've got four of them on this side, that means that bit of wire is kind of clamp, sorry, clamping, you know, on an angle and it's still got a good, good connection. So that was interesting because I thought they would have all been squeezed together 
considering what they're actually attaching to. The only downside is they're very small and a little bit hard to put onto the chip, but with a magnifying glass, I, I don't find it any problem. Now, let's see if I can actually give you a look at these because I think that would uh, be quite interesting if we could do that. Okay, so let's just uh, get rid of that and let's, let's go on to that and let's see if we can show you what's actually happening here. Can we focus? Can we focus? Come on, focus up, focus up. Focus. What about here? All right, we're gonna have to go to man manual focus here. Manual focus. Okay, I think that's about the best we're going to get it. So let's go with that. Okay, now I'm going to push down on this prong and have a look at that little bit of wire. Can you see that little bit of wire? That's what it is. Now that is half a millimeter or something. It is tiny, tiny, tiny. And that's what's happening. Just like a little claw. And that's the size of it there. So to be fair, I think... Um, these are quite a good tool if you're making up your own leads. I think they might give you some sort of backup as well if if your current clip-on is not working or your current SOIC uh, clamp or push down is not working. We've got little pogo sticks too some people use and just go straight over the chip. But in all fairness, yeah, um, good for the money, good for the price. And that's my quick little review on them. I'm yet to uh, try and program a chip with them, but I think that will be in the next day or two. Just looking at the way they're clipping on there I'm, I'm quite surprised that I can get four of them on there and their metal shafts aren't touching so interesting very interesting leave your comments down below your comments your um, your advice what you think of this type of product and uh, your experiences because we always love to hear uh, from other locksmiths as well who might have that little secret tip that they might add to the conversation okay SOIC clamps um, 10 piece um, sorry they, here's the real name for them SMD grippers and test clamps. Oh, there we go. Minimum gap, uh, 0.3 of a mil. And uh, the shafts are one mil, the handles are three mil. I haven't really given much more on them. Uh, see if there's anything on the box there. Focus. Uh, count, counterfeit will be investigated. Okay, so obviously they are um, got their own little genuine product. Very rarely do you see uh, See uh, things from China that um, say counterfeits will be investigated because they're normally the ones counterfeiting it. So this must be some sort of genuine product, but I'm impressed with them in it all the same. Okay, thanks for watching.